Good afternoon YouTube. Busy in the shop today making one of our most complicated body lift kits that we do. This is for a Kia Sportage. So our normal body lift kit usually just uses a, a lift block like this and you put a, a longer bolt through there and the way this works is the body of your vehicle sits on top of this and then the body mount bushing and the frame bracket is underneath and you lift the body by whatever height the block is. So that's a very typical lift block that we do. We do various diameters and heights. So like I say, this is our typical body lift block here. But the Kia Sportage is rather unique. The way the Kia works is there's the rubber bushing sits on the frame bracket. There's a steel cup welded to the bottom side of the body and that's what this represents. This would be a stamped steel cup sitting on the bottom side of the body. That rubber bushing goes inside of here and the idea is this cup keeps the rubber from expanding out as it's compressed and then likewise there's a stud welded into the body that comes down here and then a nut is placed on the bottom and that's what holds the body down to the body mount bushing and the bracket on the frame. What we have to do for the a body lift kit on that is we have to duplicate this cup so the bottom of the body lift block has a recess that fits down over that rubber bushing and then it's got a step on the top side that fits up into the cup that's in the bottom side of the body and then the other thing we have to do is we have to supply what we call a bolt extension so this end is threaded M14 by 150 thread that screws on to the stud that's sticking out of the body because you can't replace that stud it's it's permanently attached to the body and then we give you a, a new stud that's in this case three inches below the old stud locations what we have here is one of these. The blocks are a little over three and a half inch diameter. They're pretty large. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is drill a larger clearance hole now that I have a pilot hole in here. And let's see if we can run that through here. Okay, that thing pulled out of there. Now there's a lot of drag on the drill bit when you're drilling into a plastic like that. So there we got that. The next thing we're doing here is cutting this step and it's deep enough that you have to make about two passes there. You just can't cut all that. Uh, this lathe doesn't have the rigidity and also this UHMW polyethylene that we use is really tough and the problem is it's also very slippery and it's a little bit soft. It squishes just a tiny little bit. And because it's so strong, if you try to take too much of a cut, it'll rip it out of the jaws of the lathe chuck. You get a diameter, so we're about 90 millimeters on the material. And we have to go down, I think it's to about 78 right there. So we have to go from 90 down to 78 is roughly 12 millimeters. So we have to do roughly 6 millimeters a pass. Okay, I'm going to give this a try. This is, should be a 6 millimeter cut here, about a quarter inch. The other thing with plastic is you can never quite tell how much of a cut you're going to get, but we did get 6 millimeters there. So I guess we're taking three millimeters off each side. That's about halfway. So go down to 84 and then I shoot for something like 78. It's just got to be smaller 
diameter than the cup just so it'll fit in there. Okay, let's try to take this last pass here, get down to the right size. Sometimes you end up with a piece that doesn't quite come off there. Yeah, there we've got our step down part, and so now the the cup on the frame can come down and fit over that. So I've got four of these done. I got to do four more, and then we're going to flip it over and we work on the other side. We have to cut that recess, so we'll do that next. Okay, YouTube, we're in the final pass on clearing out this recess in the bottom of the lift block. Not sure how much the camera can pick up. It's really hard to get in there. Maybe I can show you over here, show you part way through the cut. Maybe you can see in there, I'm, I start on the inside and then I cut outward. And you have to make two passes here because the cut is deep enough. You can go maybe three millimeters, eighth of an inch in and then cut back like I'm doing right there. And then you go back to the middle and then make a second pass through there to open up this uh, recess. That's one of the trickier parts of this because when you're cutting this way, it's putting a torque on the part and it's wanting to rip the part out of the chuck on the lathe. And you're right at the limit of how hard the chuck can grab the part because this is very slippery plastic and it's also very strong so it takes a lot of force to make the cut here and you're hanging out about three inches from where the lathe jaws are out to where the cut is and it's just real easy to rip that piece out of the chucks. Show you a finished one here. So you've got the the step down on the top and then you've got this recess on the bottom of the next ones. Rather complex parts, but maybe I'll show you what the body lift looks like. So we have these eight bolt extensions there. You have one for each position. And then we have the eight lift blocks. And that ends up giving you a three inch body lift. And then that gives you room for larger tires. And especially on something like the Kia Sportage, it's an independent suspension vehicle. Your suspension lift options are quite limited. You can only go so far with the existing suspension. So the body lift is a handy way to get additional lift if you want to fit larger tires on without doing a really wild custom suspension. It's an option. Some people like body lifts, some don't. We don't have a preference. We sell the body lift kits and we also sell body lift removal kits. If you have a body lift and you want to get rid of it, give us a call. We can uh, get you a kit to go back to stock. And if you don't have a body lift and you want one, Give us a call and we can probably make you a kit. We make them for the Kia Sportage. We make them for a lot of the Toyota uh, Land Cruisers, pickups, Forerunners. Uh, we do the Mitsubishi Montero, the Dodge Raiders, the pickup versions of those. So we do quite a number of vehicles that we make uh, body lift kits for and we make them all to order. We do this in a three inch. We can also do uh, like this one. This is our regular lift for the Kia, inch and three eighths. So this is the highest lift you can do on the Kia and not require bolt extensions. So you're able to uh, get your threaded stud just barely through the lift block and through your body mount bushing without needing to extend the bolt. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you how these are made. They're one of our more complicated lift blocks because you've got to machine the, the top, the sides, and the bottom. You have a step on one side, a recess on the other side, and then you've got a very large center hole. And then you also have to build this metric bolt extension, 14 millimeter thread here, male thread, female thread. 
and then about an 18 millimeter shank. So this is a custom built part. So anyway, just thought I'd show you our Kia Sportage body lift kit. So I got to get this packed up and off to the customer today. Now if you have any questions about uh, these body lift blocks, uh, drop a comment in the comment section below. And I'll put some of our other product videos over here on the left side. And as always, thanks for watching.